Welcome to the library's introduction video for faculty services. My name is Adam, Morsell's online learning librarian, and I will be your guide. Throughout this video, you will meet the library team and learn how our various services like circulation, instruction, curriculum support, student support, and collections can support your classroom, students, and pedagogy. And above all, we ask to help us help you. Collaboration between library services and teaching faculty is a key element to ensure student success at SUNY Morrisville. Please reach out to us regarding any of our services so we might strengthen existing partnerships and create new ones. Our first stop is circulation. The circulation desk is the beating heart of the library. Here, members of our community can check out books, pick up interlibrary loan books, borrow laptops, power cords, headphones, laptop and phone chargers, among many others. At the circulation desk, Peggy and John can help you with all of this, as well as help you with your course reserves. Faculty may place books, audiovisual media, and other types of materials on reserve in the library for students enrolled in their courses to use. These items are kept on reserve for one semester and are then returned to the library collection or to the owner of the material unless longer reserve arrangements are specified. Materials on reserve in the library are generally for in-library use only. If you assign your students a course reading list, we ask that you also provide us with that list so that we can pull materials from our shelves early or potentially order ones that we do not own. Learn more about the circulation desk and the services we offer in the links below. My name is Michelle Mitchell, Morrisville's Instructional Services Librarian, and I am going to speak about library information literacy instruction. The information literacy program strives to help students and faculty develop competencies essential to academic success and critical to workplace information demands. Information literacy instruction is completely customizable to your course and aids student success by familiarizing students to library services and staff, focusing on specific research projects or topics to find relevant information, finding and critically evaluating authoritative resources found in the library's databases and the open web, documenting sources appropriately using APA, MLA, or other styles, and presenting and using information ethically and legally. All instruction is delivered in a variety of formats. Face-to-face, -face, we can travel to you or you can bring students into the library. Synchronous and asynchronous online, we can attend remotely for your online synchronous classes. YouTube video tutorials are available and can be found under Get Help on the library website or our YouTube channel. These can be embedded into Blackboard. Library guides, also known as LibGuides, these are research guides that list resources for student and faculty use. Guides are created for specific courses or general subject coverage. Click on the subject and course guides link on the library website to see a current list. These guides can also be integrated into Blackboard. Reach out to your library liaison to learn more about LibGuides. For all instruction requests, please reach out to me. We look forward to collaborating with you and assisting your students. Hi everyone, Chris Rudikoff here, Director of Libraries. All of the librarians, that is Michelle Mitchell, Adam Saunders, Angela Rhodes, and myself serve as library liaisons for specific programs. To find out who is the liaison for your subject area, you can consult our webpage under services or take a look at the handout that accompanies this presentation. The kind of help we provide for existing courses is to work with faculty to infuse information literacy into course assignments and projects and to develop uh, subject and course information resource guides. We can also help you find and request materials to support course and program learning outcomes or any research that you might be doing. 
Your li librarian liaison also will help you with uh, developing new course proposals, whereas there is a section on library assessments. And if you get to the point where you are working on program assessments or accreditations or contributing to a new program development, uh, contact me and I will get that assessment of library information resources support going for you and your projects. Thanks, Chris. Moving on, our next topic is OER, or Open Educational Resources. These are teaching, learning, and research resources that have been released under an intellectual property license that permits free use or repurposing by others. Along the same vein, Affordable Learning Materials, or ALM, are resources that come at a reduced cost to the student. Think government documents or materials residing in the public domain. Interested in learning more about Affordable Learning Materials, or OER? The library is here to help. Need help locating OER materials? Brainstorming to update or use materials in your course? Then please contact the library or Adam Saunders. You can also find a link to our OER guide in the links below. What would an academic library be without its reference services? At Morrisville, we offer a number of different options for students and faculty seeking research assistance. Of course, anyone can stop into the library and stop by the reference desk and sit down with a librarian. We are available in person Monday through Friday during the day and Monday through Wednesday in the evening hours. One-on-one -on -one reference consultations can also be booked online through the library website or by contacting liaison librarian via email or by phone. Research assistance for when a librarian is not around is also available through our Ask Us 24-7 reference service. Hello new faculty and welcome. My name is Angela Rhodes and I'm the Systems and Electronic Resources Librarian. I'm going to talk about the library's collections. We house 90,000 physical materials between the Morrisville and Norwich campus libraries and subscribe to 111 databases that contain 140,000 e-journals and 50,000 e-book titles. Most research is being conducted purely online now, and the library makes it easy to find resources through our OneSearch discovery layer or through our individual databases, all of which can be accessed anywhere using your SUNY Morrisville credentials. We strive for diversity and inclusivity, and one way we do that is through our leisure reading. We recommend checking out our Sheila Johnson collection located on the first floor in the Charles Gibson Reading Room for a diverse range of leisure reading. We are big collectors of data, and we know that the usage of our collections is tied directly to faculty engagement, encouragement, and interaction with us. Your students will use library resources when you encourage them to do so. Help us help you. We can support you and your students through our selection of content for your courses. We make recommendations for new materials in course and program proposals and welcome suggestions from faculty. Reach out to us to discuss the content needs of your courses. Back to you, Adam. Thank you for watching the library's video on faculty services. We look forward to helping you in the coming year.